Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Just uh, give me a couple of minutes and uh, just to uh, get you going on this one. And uh, uh, so basically, we're not gonna cover a lot of details here, fortunately, because this is pretty complex pathway. But we're gonna start with purine nucleotide synthesis. And we're gonna mainly want you to concentrate on the rate limiting enzyme and how it's regulated. And uh, we're going to cover a few uh, things regarding a couple of diseases, inherited diseases. And obviously, we're going to cover some drugs that uh, affect purine and pyrimidine synthesis. OK, so first of all, I want you to appreciate that the ribose needed for nucleotide biosynthesis, purine nucleotide, comes from HMP. One of the product, products of HMP pathway is ribose 5-phosphate. Very important. Okay. Uh, the second thing you want to know about nucleotides, you got to remember, nucleotides contain nitrogenous bases. Those nitrogenous bases are derived typically from amino acids. So this is a very important slide. You need to know what are the contributors, contributor amino acids to that purine uh, rings. Glycine, aspartate, and glutamine. Three amino acids. Okay? You don't need to know the numbers or where they go in, but just know three amino acids needed for purine nitride, purine nucleotide synthesis. Glycine, glutamine, and aspartate. Also, importantly, I want you to pay attention to these guys. These carbons are coming from THF tetrahydrofolate, what we just talked about as the, the, uh, the active form of folic acid. So without tetrahydrofolates, purine nucleotides cannot be synthesized. That's how important THF is. Okay? If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.